Okay. We're trying to get an emergency bunko started. We're going to need to call the mayor. We're going to need to call the mayor. The mayor. The mayor of Bunko. Rocky and I got up at 5.30 this morning and walked down to the lake. The day we bought the RV, I called and I made the reservation for this lake to get that campsite because I knew it was going to be the 4th of July and I knew we wanted to go there. And it's very popular and very nice lake. We are trying to preserve the life of our gray tank since we are here for nine days with just electric hookups. So I am heading down to the showers. I took one down there yesterday and it was really nice. We are at Baker Campground for nine nights with no sewer hookups. So it, we knew it was inevitable we'd have to do a dump. We were able to make it five nights. Minnesota wrap up. Minnesota. Ten days. Our longest new record. God, this was a special, a special stop because we were here ten days. Um, all my side of the family came in to do a big Fourth of July. Denise and Jr. hosted in their house the whole time, and it was amazing. And we're really grateful. Some sympathy. We have to take away our pain. I'm um, grateful <laughs> for you can hear this uh, popcorn popper, this, uh, this popper tool or toy that ever is somehow mysteriously ended up back here. Gift from um, Aunt Christie, that was gift, it. Gift from Aunt Christie. That, uh, <laughs> here we are. Yeah, here we are. So <laughs> now ever is doing it up and down the aisles. So. We can't use the excuse of it won't fit in the suitcase. Exactly. Um, I saw Sophie. I got to see a very dear oh, friend yeah. that used to live in San Francisco. Met her at the dog park with her dog Ben, and she has since moved to Minneapolis. And so I got to go hang out with her. Oh, we watched women's soccer. We watched the U.S. Yeah. women's team win, win, and that was so cool. It was really neat. Um, yeah, it's Sunday morning, we all gathered around. And and they won! We lost our passports. Um, they're somewhere. I don't know. I don't know if they're the department back home. I swear I brought them in the rig. I put them somewhere. Hid them so brilliantly that we can't find them and we're about to head into Canada so we went to the passport agency in Minneapolis and they turned it around in like two days. I didn't even realize that was gonna be, um, it was gonna be that fast so that was fantastic. So we're back on It board. wasn't cheap to turn it in two days, but they turned it in two days. Yeah, they didn't do it for free, yeah. <laughs> but they did. It was beautiful, huge spots. The campsite was fantastic. We loved it. Close to the showers, there's a big playground, a beautiful, beautiful beach that we walked down to. They had a rule in effect, no wake for the wake. So that meant, you know, no water skiing, no pulling a tube behind, no even going fast. And so, so unfortunately, we couldn't use our campsite as the main, you know, boating area. So we had to go to different boating areas, which is still really fun. We are on Big Lake in Minnesota. Ever. Another Ever awesome park right here on the water. About to take the boat out in a little bit. Some sympathy, we have to take away our pain and breathe. Hey, you just come along, just come along, just come along. Maggie's senior pictures. Yes, got to take some pictures of Maggie. Should throw some of those in here. Gonna be a senior this year, so we went out on the dock and we went out to a pretty barn and got to do some little photo session with her and her friend, and that was really cool. Today, we are headed to Duluth. We added another day on here so we could spend a little more time with Rich's mom and sister. We're gonna 
head north to a lake and then up into Canada. So we are excited and we are ready. Rock and roll. Let's fire it up.